Welcome to the Marshall Space Flight Center 2021 Honor Awards Program. Here's our Center Director, Jody Singer. Welcome to the Agency Honor Awards Virtual Ceremony. You know, it is great to have this event, even if we are still doing it virtually. You know, I love this event because it gives us an opportunity to honor the recipients who have been working so hard and accomplishing so much. You know, there is so much excitement in the air around the upcoming Artemis launch. And I will tell you, it is only possible because of all of the hard work you've done and the Marshall team and all the teams around the agency. You know, all of you receiving this award today represent the best of Marshall's commitment to NASA and our mission. It's always extra special when we could shine the spotlight on team members for their great work. You know, people are our best and most important part of what we do. And for all the family members and friends joining us today, I want you to know that you are a vital part of our honorees accomplishments. You are all an important part of our honorees success. You know, our award recipients cannot succeed without you. And that means that Marshall Space Flight Center and NASA cannot succeed without you either. You know, your work and dedication make it possible for Marshall to achieve all the agency's goals of exploration and discovery. You have proven over the past two years how much we can achieve working and working from anywhere. And again, thank you for all you do. You deserve all the praise and recognition these awards bring. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the realm parts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket red glare The Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave It's now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker. Jim Free is NASA's Associate Administrator for the Exploration Systems Development Mission Directorate. He was appointed in September of 2021, and he is ensuring the success of the Artemis missions and planning the agency's moon to Mars exploration approach. Prior to Jim's appointment, he served in a variety of leadership roles in the private sector before returning to NASA. Jim knows NASA well. He has been at Goddard Space Flight Center. He has been at Johnson Space Center and was the director of Glenn Research Center before moving to NASA headquarters. He is a recipient of several awards at the agency, including the Presidential Rank Award, NASA's Distinguished Service Award, NASA's Outstanding Leadership Medal, and the NASA Exceptional Service Medal. You know, on a personal note, Jim is known for his values of putting people first and the resiliency and the development of our workforce. It is great to have him as a leader. So it is my honor to welcome our Associate Administrator, Mr. Jim Free. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Jody, for the wonderful introduction. 
I'm really sorry I couldn't be there with you in person today, but I'm looking forward to being down in Huntsville and at the Marshall Space Flight Center really soon. Congratulations to all the awardees today. Your accomplishments, achievements, and contributions are truly remarkable. You embody the resilience, spirit, and dedication of the NASA team, and at a time in history that makes all of those qualities more important than ever. It's also important that we take time to thank our people for going above and beyond. You are champions and advocates, and you determine the success of the agency every day. I want you to thank your families as well for their support and sacrifice. I thank them for giving their time with you to us to do the great mission that NASA has. And today is about the people at the Marshall Space Flight Center. I'd like to take a moment to highlight some of the great work by the team on and off the Earth. First, with the Space Launch System and the incredible accomplishments there working across organizations, centers to support the green run test. Um, without that, we would not have the confidence we have in the Artemis vehicle in the VAB today. And now we're nearing the completion of the test in the VAB for rollout to the wet dress rehearsal. This mighty rocket and system represent all that we are capable of as an agency. The launch of Artemis One will mark a proud, powerful moment in NASA and the nation's history the cornerstone for human exploration now and in the future. Helping to ensure the safety of future crews uh, on, uh, on SLS, the Artemis II Orion Stage Adapter Composite Diaphragm Test Team successfully completed the proof test for the diaphragm that will be demonstrated on Artemis I. The diaphragm will serve as a barrier between the upper stage and Orion, preventing hydrogen gas buildup during the launch and keeping the crew and vehicle safe. Marshall also has a vital role in the future of our Artemis missions as well with the human landing system. That team is making great progress with industry, maturing the systems to land our astronauts on the moon in the very near future. The space station teams keep science rolling every day, 24 hours a day. And they've been doing that successfully for more than 20 years, helping through the efficiency of the ISS payload operations by providing vital support to the ECLIS and material science projects with leak and pressure testing of components, subsystems, and systems. Marshall scientists also, along with our commercial partners, are preparing to bring home the first samples from the surface of Mars via the Mars Ascent Vehicle. This project promises to revolutionize our understanding of Mars by bringing scientifically selected samples being taken today on Mars for study using the most sophisticated instruments around the world. The Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer is an example of a team overcoming adversity to achieve the extraordinary, a unique step forward to explore the nature of stars, galaxies, and celestial bodies in a new way. XB builds upon Marshall's storied history in X-ray astrophysics. And much closer to home, Marshall was the first in the agency to trans transition to Office 365 Internet, connecting people, content, and data in a more intuitive and collaborative ways and that has been adopted across NASA. You make a difference globally through the Earth Science programs with Sport and Severe. We've all certainly been touched by the global pandemic over the past two years, and Marshall's occupational health team helped navigate the center through this challenging time. The unique capabilities that the Marshall Space Flight Center have enabled human exploration for systems for decades. Now being close to the launch of Artemis One and with, uh, without the work done at Marshall, none of this would be possible. SLS will prove to be the world's most powerful rocket, the true backbone of the Artemis program and our exploration for the future. What you are doing will last for generations to come and will continue to make an impact on our exploration of the moon and Mars and beyond. Thank you for your commitment to our mission for what you do every single day to take NASA and our nation forward. Thank you. Over the last year, our Marshall Space Flight Center family has faced challenges like we've never seen before. Through it all, you have persevered and made all of us successful. 
We have 16 unique organizations across Marshall, and each and every one of you make up this body of exceptional individuals that work together to further NASA's mission. This year, we delivered NASA's Space Launch System rocket to Kennedy Space Center for its first test flight. This is the first step in return to human deep space exploration. We completed and shipped the first Orion crew capsule to support the Artemis One launch. Celebrated 20 years of continuous 24-7 science payload operations in support of the International Space Station. Maintained a healthy environment for astronauts aboard the space station by sending a new four-bed CO2 scrubber. Stood up a new program office and began developing the next lunar lander to take the first woman and first person of color to the surface of the moon. This summer, we engaged over 800 people for 35 flash talks, sharing our technology and science in the virtual jamboree. XB is currently on the way to Kennedy Space Center, and NIA Scout is already there. But we couldn't have done it without you. From keeping our facilities running during a global pandemic to transforming how our workforce works, we moved from traditional office-based work environment to a blended environment where people can work from home or office and allowing them the flexibility to do what best fits their lifestyle. Helping the Marshall family stay safe at work and helping ensure success by analyzing hardware and software. We outfitted over 400 hotel spaces across the center so that remote users only need to bring their laptop when working on site and transition to soft phones that both cut cost and enable telework. We managed all of the funding needed to support over 60 programs and projects managed by Marshall Space Flight Center and provided different budget scenarios in an ever-changing environment. We're proud to be able to serve Marshall and our employees throughout the pandemic while dealing with the changes and challenges as a result of our MAP initiative. We've worked hard as a team through MAP to show how the legal enterprise makes a positive and important impact for the agency and its mission. We buy items and services that NASA uses, from paper clips to rocket parts. We obligated a little over $4 billion for Marshall alone through 2,000 contract actions. That is an increase of 13% when compared to the previous fiscal year. We sponsored new special emphasis program events to support diversity and inclusion at Marshall. From a Marshall perspective, We've told the NASA story, sharing our accomplishments to people at home and all around the world. And of course, we're excited about what we've achieved, but that's not even the best part about working at Marshall. My favorite thing about working at Marshall is it is the hub for human exploration. From small science experiments to large rockets and landers to carry humans to the moon and beyond, and everything in between, all of that work is taking place at Marshall. Not only do I get to contribute to the great products we deliver, I'm also surrounded by the most dedicated, intelligent, and diligent people around. Marshall has a positive and caring culture that promotes innovation and success. I'm blessed to work among some of the most talented people at NASA and humbled to know that I'm part of something bigger than myself. I'm surrounded by excellence. My favorite thing about working at Marshall is being able to work alongside such engaging people. We are passionate about space and furthering technology for the benefit of humanity, but we're also athletes, food enthusiasts, musicians, community advocates, and so much more. Having the opportunity to work alongside some of the brightest minds in the aerospace business on work that is team-driven, mission-focused, and in many cases, both historic and life-changing. We're all incredibly committed to our projects and NASA mission goals, and we'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. Hands down, the best part of working at Marshall is the people. The people. Definitely the people. Together, we are Marshall Space Flight Center. We are Artemis. We are NASA. What an amazing video, and I totally agree. The best part of working at Marshall is the people. I think you've proven that time and time again over the last year. I've only been in my position a few months, but I've already seen so much teamwork and passion for what we do. As you all know, our mission, our challenges, and the demands placed upon us did not stop during the pandemic. 
And we keep pushing forward to achieve the impossible. We talk about agility a lot here at Marshall. It is an important strength to have at the center and throughout the workforce. All of you have shown how agile you are during this period of prolonged telework. And those of you who have had to be on site have done so carefully and with dedication and commitment so we can continue to get our important work done. I know it's that agility, your excellence, and more that brought you here today for these honors. Our center is incredibly lucky to have each and every one of you. It's so hard to express our gratitude in this virtual environment. So on behalf of the Marshall Leadership Team, let me say just how appreciative we are of what you do. And I know you will keep up the good work as we approach many historic milestones, the first launch of the Space Launch System, the first Artemis mission, and returning the workforce safely back to on-site work. Please continue to take care mentally, physically, and let's all pause and take a moment to celebrate these achievements. And now for the reason we are all watching today, the awards. And again, congratulations to you and your families and keep up the good work. NASA Distinguished Service Medal. This is NASA's highest form of recognition that is awarded to any government employee who by distinguished service, ability, or vision has personally contributed to NASA's advancement of the United States interest. The individual's achievement or contribution must demonstrate a level of excellence that has made a profound or indelible impact on NASA mission success. And therefore, the contribution is so extraordinary that other forms of recognition by NASA would be inadequate. David Herda for exemplary leadership and distinguished service to NASA in support of the Space Launch System and Space Shuttle Main Engine programs. Paul McConaughey, for distinguished service that has profoundly impacted the effectiveness of NASA with other federal agencies, ensuring mission success for critical agency programs. H. Phil Stahl for outstanding contributions to science and technology development in the optical sciences that facilitate enduring U.S. and agency leadership in space telescope design. Bobby Watkins, for exceptional leadership in the evolution of the Human Exploration Development and Operations Office and management of the agency future program and projects. NASA Outstanding Leadership Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee for notable leadership accomplishments that have significantly influenced the NASA mission. Sustained leadership and exceptionally high-impact leadership achievements should demonstrate the individual's effectiveness in advancing the agency's goals and image in present and future terms. Lisa Bates for Distinguished Service and Leadership in Management of the Space Launch System Core Stage Green Run. Jeffrey Brown, for Outstanding Leadership in Creating the COVID-19 Return to Site Plan for both Marshall Space Flight Center and the agency during unprecedented times. Chad Bryant, for Outstanding Leadership in Design and Manufacture of the Space Launch System Integrated Core Stage. Robert Champion, for exceptional leadership in the evolution of Mashu Assembly Facility and efforts in maintaining facility production operations in pursuit of agency exploration missions. Mark Cooper, for stellar leadership in managing the development of critical hardware evidence supporting SpaceX Bellows failure investigation and return to work effort during COVID-19. John Dankinich, for exceptionally high impact leadership achievements, leading people, serving as a role model, influencing change, and achieving results as a center chief technologist. Cadwallader Franklin, for outstanding leadership of the cybersecurity discipline within the Marshall Space Flight Center and the entire NASA community. Jennifer Franzo, for outstanding leadership of the SLS SMA Stages team, assessing a corrective action plan as the result of a level two corrective action request. Marcus Gregg, for outstanding leadership in the application of NASA core values and assuring mission success 
to the human landing system and commercial crew programs. John Honeycutt For outstanding leadership for the agency and the SLS program, ensuring the program's progression to mission readiness during the global pandemic. Angela Jackman For outstanding leadership of the Mars Ascent Vehicle Project team during the successful pre-formulation phase positioning the project to move into formulation. Rene Ortega For outstanding and exemplary leadership adjudicating engineering standards as Chief Engineer for the Human Landing System Program. David Reynolds for exemplary leadership in finding ways to reduce the development and production costs of the Space Launch System Booster within the Booster Element Office. Benjamin Stoles, for outstanding leadership in Core Stage Avionics Qualification and Green Run Stage Controller Testing. Paul Thompson, for outstanding leadership contributions as Structural Design, Development, and Analysis Branch Chief. Sustaining Team Excellence and Developing Individual Team Members Alicia Turpin For Outstanding Leadership of the Propulsion Systems Division through the in-house qualification of SLS Core Stage APU and a successful crewed Demo 2 flight to ISS. Mark Vaccaro For Leading the Design Support for Booster Integration and Assembly at KSC for Artemis 1. Amy Walden for exemplary leadership and outstanding contributions as the Imaging X-ray Polymeter Explorer Project Deputy Manager. James Whitaker, for outstanding leadership to the International Space Station Payload Operations with the Payload and Mission Operations Division at Marshall Space Flight Center. NASA Outstanding Public Leadership Medal. This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or to an individual who was not a government employee or government contractor employee during the period in which the accomplishment was achieved for notable leadership accomplishments that have significantly influenced the NASA mission. Sustained leadership and exceptionally high-impact leadership achievements should demonstrate the individual's effectiveness in advancing the agency's goals and image in present and future terms. Kevin Kramer, for exemplary engineering and program leadership of the Space Shuttle Main Engine and Space Launch System RS-25 engine programs. Joseph Varag, for exceptional contributions to the Space Launch System Stages Element System Ground and Mission Operations Team in leadership and management of flight hardware moves. Belinda Wilkes for Outstanding Public and Science Community Leadership as Director of the Chandra X-Ray Center. NASA Exceptional Service Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to a government employee for sustained performance that embodies multiple contributions which contribute to NASA's projects, programs, or initiatives. Judy Balance for outstanding service and superior leadership on many projects, including Space Lab, Hubble, Chandra, Space Station, Space Launch System, and many science missions. Hugh Kate, for exceptional service to NASA in support of the Artemis mission and the Space Launch System program. Andrew Cecil, for exceptional service to the International Space Station payload operations and the Space Launch System program with the Payload and Mission Operations Division at Marshall Space Flight Center. Lisa Espy, for outstanding leadership in the development and certification of core stage avionics and flight termination systems. Cynthia Ferguson, for outstanding leadership completing the SLS Level 2 timing verification and developing technologies needed for lunar missions across centers and industry. John Fikes, for an outstanding career of leadership and exceptionally high-impact achievements, developing new technologies, advancing agency goals while serving as a mentor to others. Douglas Fox For sustained technical excellence and leadership of the Marshall Space Flight Center thermal and mechanical analysis community, especially in the areas of risk management and digital transformation. Todd Freestone for extraordinary leadership, dedication, and technical expertise in providing radio frequency communication support 
to the Human Landing System Program. Tracy Johnson for exceptional service and leadership in the mission development of the Space Launch System Program in the Program Planning and Control Office. Karen Knight, for exceptional service and dedication to the advancement of capabilities and knowledge toward a sustained human exploration presence on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Terry Coble, for extraordinary and distinguished leadership service in the development of NASA's human spaceflight missions and programs. Jeffrey Kajajak, for exemplary contributions to NASA in science, technology, data analysis, and community service. Mark Crome, for exceptional leadership within the Space Launch System program, contributing to the ongoing success of the program with technical knowledge and empathy. Angela Nolan, for exceptional leadership in providing business management and human resource functions within the Engineering Directorate. Thomas Percy, for exceptional service in the formulation, evaluation, and management of human landing system architectures. Raymond Shaughnessy, for sustained exemplary leadership in the management of NASA Marshall Space Flight Center sponsored programs and test facilities. Cynthia Sprater, for outstanding leadership in propulsion component testing resulting in the development of countless new technologies and advancements to meet the needs of NASA and industry. Amy Weinbarger, for her tireless support of suborbital science and technology programs and contributions to shaping the future of heliophysics. Roy Young, for sustained accomplishment in leading optical technology and manufacturing process development that enabled two decades of NASA Marshall Space Flight Center science and exploration missions. NASA Exceptional Public Service Medal This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or to an individual who is not a government employee during the period in which the service was performed for sustained performance that embodies multiple contributions on NASA projects, programs, or initiatives. Stephen Huff, for superior and sustained technical leadership of flight control design, development, and evaluation for all Space Launch System upper stages. Barbara Maples, for outstanding leadership, technical expertise, and communication skills while serving as a subject matter expert for the POIC to MCCH interfaces. William Muddle, for exemplary leadership and execution of SSME post flight operations and adaption and integration of RS 25 engine operations and logistics requirements into the SLS program. Douglas Schwartz, for unceasing support of critical NASA X-ray missions, including the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Lynx X-ray Observatory concept, and the mentoring of future scientists. Richard Webb, for superior performance in the field of launch vehicle economic analysis and exceptional support to the Space Launch System Program. NASA Exceptional Achievement Medal this prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee for a significant specific achievement or substantial improvement in operations, efficiency, service, financial savings, science, or technology, which contributes to the mission of NASA. Daniel Adams For excellence in maintaining compliance with regulations and protecting the mission by improving operations of the Environmental Engineering and Occupational Health Office. Citra Battle, for outstanding achievement leadership during the transition to NASA end-user services and technologies contract and supporting agency-wide telework. Ryan Decker, for outstanding leadership in the development of the day of launch initialization load update process for the Space Launch System Program at Marshall Space Flight Center. Patricia Fletcher, for outstanding achievements and information technology support of Marshall Space Flight Center transition to telework during the COVID-19 pandemic. William Green, for outstanding leadership of the Space Launch System Program's development and implementation of multiple configuration management process improvements and initiatives. Danny Harris, 
for sustained exceptional achievements as the project manager for the Next Step Habitation Project in support of the Habitation Systems Development Office. Jacqueline James For exemplary leadership that directly improved NASA cybersecurity, OCIO customer experience, and enabling successful virtual teleworking operations during the COVID-19 pandemic. Paul Johnson For exceptional achievement in providing support to all projects as the SMA Procurement Quality Engineering Lead and for serving as the trusted agent for the SMA Directorate. Albert Johnson for exceptional performance leading and supporting the Crucial Space Launch System Core Stage Thrust Vector Control System Qualification Test. William Kaufman For exceptional achievement and innovation in maintaining and expanding on-site work capability for mission essential programs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Jeff Lynn For outstanding performance in successfully developing and implementing the process to use Linux desktop computers at home, enabling CFD support to projects during telework. Sheila McDonald for outstanding achievement in leading payload and mission operations facilities management and enhancements. George Mitchell For exceptional dedication and leadership of the SLS in-house developed flight software efforts, which are critical to the success of the Artemis I mission. Patty Montgomery For outstanding achievements in information technology support of Marshall Space Flight Center transition to telework during the COVID-19 pandemic. Russell Parks, for significant contributions to the successful completion of the SLS Core Stage Modal Test at Stennis Space Center. Rhonda Pepper, for exceptional achievements and the highest commitment in leading the successful transformation of the Marshall Space Flight Center Facilities Utilization Review Committee. Joseph Pirani, for outstanding service to NASA by setting the hallmark for the management of agency wide networks and history setting missions during a global pandemic. Alexander Raleigh, for exemplary dedication and outstanding contributions, positively impacting the agency's goals through numerous safely executed tests in the component development area. Dennis Strickland, for exceptional leadership in being the acting explosive safety officer at the Marshall Space Flight Center, supporting the Institutional Safety Explosive Safety Program. Charles Wilkerson, for outstanding initiative and leadership as the lead instrumentation engineer during buildup and testing of the SLS Core Stage Liquid Oxygen Tank Structural Qualification Test. NASA Exceptional Public Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA recognition is awarded to non-government individuals or to any individual who was not a government employee during the period in which the achievement was accomplished. The award is for a significant specific achievement or substantial improvement in operations, efficiency, service, financial savings, science, or technology, which contributes to the mission of NASA. Jared Austin For essential support and successful submission of the Lynx X-ray Observatory Concept Report. Jerry Carter for exceptional management of central receiving operations, ensuring the receipt and distribution of mission-critical supply items during the COVID-19 pandemic. Glenn Ferraro, for exceptional dedication to and implementation of significant improvements to the operations lead individual training plan. Mark Hutchison, for exemplary programmatic and planning control support to the SLS program and creation of the SLS budget formulation and execution analysis and deliverables. Jeffrey Little, for outstanding innovation in the implementation of the standard for models and simulations. Ashley Marler, for exemplary performance and exceptional collaboration in the successful transportation of SLS core stage vehicle from Stennis Space Center to Kennedy Space Center. Jason Shoemate, for exceptional public achievement and outstanding leadership as technical experts in support of the NASA Economic Impact Report. Charles Wayand, for outstanding technical achievement in uncovering a critical SLS flight software error, thereby saving the Artemis I mission from a loss of vehicle situation. Craig Williams, 
for exceptional achievement and outstanding leadership in manufacture and production of the Space Launch System Core Stage. NASA Exceptional Engineering Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for exceptional engineering contributions toward achievement of the NASA mission. This award is given for individual efforts for applications of engineering principles or methods that have resulted in a contribution of fundamental importance in this field, or have significantly enhanced the understanding of this field, or have significantly advanced the state of the practice as demonstrated by an application to aerospace systems. Jeffrey Beach for exceptional leadership of the Space Launch System Artemis 1 Level 2 Verification and Validation Team. Jonathan Breckenridge, for outstanding achievements in engineering design capability, leadership, and substantial improvements to verification processes for the Space Launch System certification. Keith Cornett, for exceptional engineering contributions to the International Space Station payloads operations and the SLS program within the Payload and Mission Operations Division. Jay Garcia, for excellence in performing structural analysis of conceptual spacecraft and habitat designs from very small to very large sizes and in providing outstanding mentorship. Michael Murray, for exceptional dedication and engineering support of the SLS in-house to develop flight software critical to the success of the Artemis One mission and beyond and MSRR. Herbert Thomas for outstanding accomplishments in performing state-of-the-art mission analysis of the human landing system concepts required to meet the NASA 2024 lunar landing mission. Melissa Van Dyke, for exemplary performance and engineering excellence in the development of a comprehensive integrated fuel development program for the Space Nuclear Propulsion Project. NASA Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal. This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for exceptional scientific contributions, specific, concrete scientific achievements, toward achievement of the NASA mission. This award is given for individual efforts that have resulted in key scientific discovery or resulted in contributions of fundamental importance in this field or significantly enhanced understanding of the field. Colleen Wilson Hodge for significant contributions as well as recent and original work in high-energy astrophysics and exceptional leadership of the next generation of astrophysicists. NASA Exceptional Technology Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to government or non-government individuals for exceptional technology contributions achieved in one or more of the following. One, technology development significantly contributing toward the achievement of the NASA mission. Two, development of a broadly applicable disruptive technology for advancing future research capabilities or commercial applications. Three, development of key conceptual or theoretical advances to technology that significantly accelerate the achievement of NASA's mission. Four, exemplary collaborative effort in achieving significant technology transfer or technology infusion. Five, Exceptional utilization of a NASA-developed technology resulting in a significant commercial application. Brian Hamill For exemplary efforts in leading an intra-agency task team in the development of a Lunar Thermal Analysis Guidebook for the Human Landing System Program. NASA Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Medal this prestigious NASA medal is awarded to both government and non-government individuals for outstanding achievement and material contribution to the principles and goals of NASA's diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, either within the government or within community organizations or groups. Emily Adams For enthusiastically championing opportunities for women to pursue careers in science and technology representing SEVERE as a role model and inclusivity advocate. Dana Miley, for leading engineering's recruitment efforts to expand the diversity of the applicant pool. Brett Smith, for outstanding achievement in support of the principles and goals of NASA's Equal Employment Opportunity 
EEO, diversity and inclusion programs by outreach and recruitment. NASA Exceptional Administrative Achievement Medal This prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government employee in the NASA Clerical Assistant Classification or non-government equivalent for a significant, specific achievement or contribution that clearly demonstrates a substantial improvement in administrative support contributing to NASA's mission. Jana Buchanan For providing excellent, efficient, and dedicated administrative services and support of the Facilities Management Office. Early Career Achievement Medal this prestigious NASA medal is awarded to any government and non-government employee for unusual and significant performance during the first 10 years of an individual's career in support of the NASA mission. Performance is characterized by unusual initiative or a creative achievement that clearly demonstrates a significant contribution to the individual's discipline area that directly contributes to NASA's mission and goals. The contribution is significant in that for an employee who is at such an early phase of career, the contribution has substantially improved the discipline area. George A. G. For outstanding leadership, technical contributions, and innovations to the ongoing training of the International Space Station Flight Controllers. Mary Butler. For exemplary leadership and personal dedication to providing support vital to the agency collaboration application services. Catherine Crow for significant performance in the area of systems engineering and integration and contributions to programs including SLS and HLS during the first 10 years of her career. Keaton Fike, for exceptional leadership and specific roles in the industrial safety branch, displaying technical skills and leadership to enable a safe working environment at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Adrienne Hanna, for exceptional technical contributions to the development and certification of flight hardware for the Orion European Service Module and SLS Core Stage Propulsion Systems. Eric Hatton, for outstanding achievements and improving processes in verification and launch support capability for the Space Launch System Artemis One mission. Heidi Haviland, for outstanding initiative and technical achievement in multiple endeavors, especially responsive to lunar scientific and human exploration objectives. Chu Moon Wei, for exceptional accomplishments in the study of high energy astrophysics in the study of gamma ray bursts. Jason Marsh, for exemplary performance and knowledge of government processes related to GSA leased vehicles in support of Marshall Space Flight Center. Heath Martin, for significant technical improvements to the solid motor propulsion thermal analysis discipline. James Moore, for exemplary dedication and sustained outstanding performance as a valves and ducts engineer in support of multiple programs. Stephen Roden, for outstanding initiative, technical expertise, and successfully using his influence as the subject matter expert for the ISS KU Band Internet Protocol Services. Christopher Schultz, for innovative use of lightning information from the geostationary lightning mapper to increase lightning safety at the local and national level. Justin Taylor, for outstanding work in developing, programming, and planning a new Marshall Space Flight Center facility to replace a large, outdated, and inefficient laboratory complex. Dennis Thompson, for outstanding technical insight into adhesive materials and processes in support of the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer, ICSPI, program. Lindsay Winslet, for significant performance in providing environmental engineering services to the Marshall Space Flight Center community in support of NASA's space exploration mission. Silver Achievement Medal, Individual this prestigious NASA Silver Medal is awarded to government and non-government individuals by NASA Center Directors for a stellar achievement that supports one or more of NASA's core values when it is deemed to be extraordinarily important and appropriate to recognize such achievement in a timely and personalized manner. Robert Blau 
for exceptional dedicated service during the manufacturing of the SLS Artemis I boosters, enabling the delivery of high-quality flight hardware. David Brown for exceptional leadership and national achievements with NASA GIDEP, NanoDart's corrective actions and cross-cutting support group efforts supporting SLS program and projects. David Burns For successful establishment of inclusive agreements and processes for agency and mission directorate lunar exploration aligning goals to scientific and human exploration. William Carter for continued excellence in the efforts to ensure NASA and Marshall Space Flight Center compliance with environmental laws and regulations. William Cleveland, for exemplary support and commitment to NASA and the Gamma Ray Burst Monitor mission. Joseph Curtis, for exceptional support and a seamless center operations building automation contract transition during the COVID-19 pandemic. Daryl Davis, for outstanding work in leading a unique thermal test effort to ensure that Artemis I booster separation hardware is safe to fly with expected hot gas ingestion effects. Stephen Davis, for stellar leadership of the SLS program's cross-program agreements team with cross-program partners Exploration Ground Systems Program, the Orion Program, and ESD. Karen Gelmas, for outstanding leadership and stellar work as the study project manager for the Lynx mission, a concept study for a future NASA flagship X-ray observatory. Linda Gibson, for exemplary technical contributions to International Space Station payload operations and integration. Angela Herblay, for outstanding contributions to the designing and executing of novel competition that have resulted in game-changing technology advancements for NASA and the nation. Sherry Jennings, for establishing an innovative framework to execute lunar surface instrument and technology payloads for delivery to the surface of the moon. James Lamb, for exceptional leadership and specific roles in the Quality Assurance Branch, displaying technical skills and leadership to ensure the quality of flight hardware. Drew Lang, for superb leadership as the authority having jurisdiction for the Marshall Space Flight Center supporting the Fire Protection Program. Ronald Litchford, for exceptional leadership and expertise in advancing in-space propulsion technologies across the agency while building upon all NASA core values. Jonathan Lucer, for outstanding leadership in design, certification, and manufacture of the Space Launch System Core Stage Engine Section for the Artemis I mission. Lynn Mockamer, for outstanding support to complex agency technology development projects and providing unwavering service to the agency while building upon all NASA's core values. Carl Nelson, for exemplary NASA leadership of RS-25 engine operations and logistics planning and execution in support of Space Launch System Core Stage Green Run testing. Eric Ordonez, for exceptional leadership while serving as the Systems Engineering and Integration Division EV-70 Human Lander System Execution Lead. Robert Parks, for sustained excellence and teamwork that enables the successful execution of programs and projects in exploration technologies and systems development. Patricia Patterson, for sustained exceptional achievements as the mission manager of the On-Orbit Servicing and Manufacturing One project within the Technology Demonstration Missions Program. Mark Prill, for exceptional contributions to the Space Launch System Stages element in leadership and management of Core Stage Pathfinder demonstrations. Brian Robertson, for continued excellence in leading and supporting NASA and Marshall Space Flight Center environmental requirements, efforts, and initiatives. Judith Roberts, for exceptional performance as the Acting Booster Element Chief Safety and Mission Assurance Officer. Matthew Rosenfelder, for significant achievement in support of the development and implementation of habitation systems within the Next Step Habitation Project, thereby advancing future exploration. Jerry Thompson, for exceptional performance in the manufacture, test, and checkout of acceptance of the SLS-ICPS in support of the SLS Artemis 1, 
2 and 3 missions. Brian West for outstanding leadership in the development and risk reduction activities related to the additive manufacturing components of the Space Launch System RS-25 engine. Silver Group Achievement Award This prestigious NASA certificate is awarded to government and non-government teams by NASA Center Directors for a stellar achievement that supports one or more of NASA's core values. When it is deemed to be extraordinarily important and appropriate to recognize such achievement timely and on a personal matter. 2021 ST&E Jamboree Master Planning Team For outstanding innovation, planning, collaboration, and implementation of the 2021 Science, Technology, and Engineering Jamboree and Poster Exposition. Core Auxiliary Power Unit Qualification Test Team For exemplary achievement and dedication in the execution of the highly complex Space Launch System Core Stage Auxiliary Power Unit Qualification Test. DART Mission Manager Team For management oversight and guidance of the Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission resulting in the successful launch of the mission. EUSO CP Strategic Communications Team for exemplary service to NASA in support of IT communications during COVID-19. METS ARI Senior Management and Area Managers For exceptional managerial leadership in response to COVID-19 pandemic challenges and outstanding support of on-site mission essential activities and critical infrastructure. Marshall Space Flight Center Central Receiving Team For the Central Receiving Team's dedication and support to safely receive and distribute mission-critical supply items and PPE in support of the agency during COVID-19. Marshall Space Flight Center Quality and Hazardous Procurements Team For exceptional leadership and national achievements ensuring all Marshall Space Flight Center quality and hazardous procurements were thoroughly reviewed and released below the defined deadline. NASA Economic Impact Report Team for exemplary service to NASA in support of the development, analysis, and rollout of NASA's first economic impact report. NASA SLS IT and PC support team. For superior information technology and program coordinator performance and support for space launch system during center shutdown and mandatory telework. NASA SLS core stage controller cybersecurity team for superior performance and dedication to the successful accomplishment of SLS Stage Controller Authority to operate with NASA SLS data and cybersecurity for Green Run. Next Step Habitation Team For exceptional performance in the execution of the Next Step Habitation Phase 3 final reviews leading to significant contributions to NASA's return to the moon and beyond. Pegasus Transportation Team of the SPIE LVSA For exemplary performance and teamwork in transporting the spacecraft and payload integration and evolution launch vehicle stage adapter by NASA Barge Pegasus. SLS SENI SMA Integrated Hazard Analysis Team For exceptional development of the Space Launch System Integrated Hazard Analysis and Cross-Program Integrated Hazard Analysis for the Artemis One mission. Stages Green Run Team For outstanding leadership and dedication in the test planning and execution of the Core Stage 1 Green Run Test Campaign. NASA Group Achievement Award This prestigious NASA certificate is awarded to any combination of government and or non-government individuals for an outstanding group accomplishment that has contributed substantially to NASA's mission. For example, quality of results plus impacts at the agency or multi-center level on programs or operations, effective management of cost and schedule, customer satisfaction, or success in responding to unforeseen crises. Argo Data Server System Software and Test Team For exemplary support in the development of the Space Launch System Argo Software and the Argo Hotfire Data Server, ensuring the launch vehicle performs as expected. Artemis III Science Definition Team For outstanding effort defining science objectives to be carried out during the planned Artemis III mission 
the first human mission to the moon in the 21st century. Chandra 20th Anniversary Communications Team For exceptional planning and execution of Chandra's 20th Anniversary Public Communication Campaign. Chandra Gyroscope Reconfiguration Team For successful real-time operations and Chandra Gyroscope Reconfiguration under pandemic constraints. COFR Booster Pre-Flight Readiness Review Team For successful development, refinement, and demonstration of the Space Launch System Booster's flight readiness for Artemis 1. Core Stage Design Team For exceptional leadership and dedicated production support, leading to the delivery of Core Stage to Stennis Space Center and successful green run testing. COVID-19 Contact Tracing and Tracking Team for outstanding teamwork and technical leadership in the rapid development and deployment of the Agency COVID-19 Contract Tracing and Tracking Application. Design Center Support Team For outstanding Design Center support of the assembly of the Space Launch System Boosters at Kennedy Space Center for Artemis 1. Druva Cloud Backup Solution Team for exemplary performance in development, planning, management, and deployment of the Druva Cloud Backup Solution. Dynamic Test and Model Sensitivity Study Team For outstanding dedication and technical contributions in support of test activities for Space Launch System Dynamic Model Correlation. End User Services Program COVID-19 Telework Team for outstanding support and performance ensuring telework readiness for the agency during the COVID-19 pandemic. HOSC SLS Green Run Systems Engineering Team For exceptional response enabling SLS and EGS teams to monitor green run activities, resolving core stage processing issues, and allowing ground system risk reduction. HOSC Strategic Plan Development Team for exceptional leadership, innovation, and dedication to the development and implementation of the Huntsville Operations Support Center Strategic Plan. Human Landing System Adjudicated Standard Team For outstanding leadership, creativity, and dedication in adjudicating their assigned NASA standard with the Human Landing System Program's contractors. Increment 62 COVID-19 Operations Team for outstanding support of the payload mission operations and development increment 62 COVID-19 operations transitions team. Increment 63 ISS planners team. For outstanding dedication and overcoming adversity during development of the integrated onboard operations plans for the International Space Station increment 63 operations. Interfaces function area verification team. For exceptional contributions in the development of cross-program integrated verification closure metrics and open verification impact assessments for Artemis 1. JUICE Instruments Team For exceptional delivery of the radar for icy moon exploration, ultraviolet spectrometer, and PEPHI instruments to our European partners for the JUICE mission. Legal Enterprise Operating System Project Team for outstanding performance during the Legal Enterprise Operating System Software Agency implementation. Marshall Space Flight Center Licensing Team For excellence and ingenuity in licensing Marshall Space Flight Center's patent portfolio and setting an agency record for patent licenses executed in a year. MAV Campaign Concept Review Preparation Team for successful development, preparation, and presentation of the Mars Ascent Vehicle at the Mars Sample Return Mission Concept Review. MAV Propulsion Procurement Development Team For successful development and execution of the Mars Ascent Propulsion System Procurement and Engineering Activities. Mechanical Components Test Facility Team for sustained technical excellence in advanced concepts of leak testing and seal design and implementation and verification of International Space Station hardware. Marshall Space Flight Center Custodial COVID-19 Response Team For exceptional support and response to keeping Marshall Space Flight Center mission ready during the COVID-19 pandemic and restart activities. Marshall Space Flight Center Mars Transportation Assessment Study Team for outstanding engineering on the Mars Transportation Assessment Study 
designing a nuclear thermal propulsion vehicle, and evaluating launch and transportation system options. Product Lifecycle Management Modernization Team For outstanding performance during the Product Lifecycle Management Enterprise Service Bus Modernization in support of human exploration and operations programs and projects. RS-25 Blown Powder Directed Energy Deposition Team for innovative and collaborative developments of blown powder deposition advanced manufacturing processes for NASA's propulsion and SLS liquid engines office applications. SLS RS-25 Follow-on Production Contract Team For exceptional performance in the evaluation, negotiation, and award of the RS-25 Follow-on Production Contract for the Space Launch System Launch Vehicle. SLS RS-25 Green Run Operations Team For exemplary work by the RS-25 Aerojet Rocketdyne Operations Team in preparation of RS-25 engines for Space Launch System Core Stage Green Run Testing. Space Launch System RL-10 Verification Team For exceptional performance in the verification of the RL-10 C-2 Upper Stage Engine Configuration for the Space Launch System Launch Vehicle. Space Launch System RS-25 Block 4 Team For superb work by NASA and Aerojet Rocketdyne in developing innovative solutions and advanced manufacturing techniques to reduce RS-25 engine cost and fabrication schedule. SRT MV BOLE I-1-24 Motor Test Team For the successful planning, development, and test of the SRT MV BOLE I-1-24 subscale test motor in support of the Space Launch System Booster Program. Stage Controller Development and Test Team For outstanding teamwork and dedication to the design, development, integration, test, and delivery of the Stage Controller in support of Artemis I Green Run Test Operations. Structural Test Article Team for outstanding dedication and commitment in successful completion of the Structural Qualification Test Campaign, including conduct of the Margin Test Case. Thermal and Fluids Analysis Workshop 2020 Team For exemplary effort in virtually hosting the 31st Annual Thermal and Fluids Analysis Workshop under adverse conditions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Transportation Team SLS Core Stage from SSC to KSC For exemplary performance in transporting the Space Launch System Core Stage Vehicle from Stennis Space Center to Kennedy Space Center on the NASA Barge Pegasus. Congratulations to all our award recipients today. It's remarkable to see everyone's contributions to our mission of exploration and discovery. I know this has been a different way to celebrate and recognize your amazing accomplishments. But like everything else during this period of prolonged telework, we found a way to adapt. Thank you to everyone that made this ceremony happen. It wouldn't be a success without your hard work. Even though I'd prefer to be with all of you in person, this is still the best part of my job. Bringing attention to the great work of our outstanding Marshall team. You've heard our center director, Jody Singer, say it before, and I'll reiterate it here again. People are the strength of our center. You are the most important part of what we do. Thank you for your dedication, attitude, hard work, and enthusiasm. I know your agility and ingenuity will continue to shine as we enter this exciting time for NASA and for Marshall. You have already accomplished so much throughout this year. I can't wait to see what you can achieve in 2022. Thank you and have a great day.